analysis, observations and conclusions on the preliminary issue. As recorded earlier, the decision of the preliminary issue has to be taken after a careful analysis of one, the constitution of the NCP, two, the leadership structure of NCP and three, the legislative majority. After having heard both the sides on the above aspects, I now propose to pro proceed to record my observations and findings on the preliminary issue. In the present matter, there is no dispute as to the relevant NCP constitution. Both the parties have placed reliance on the constitution and rules annexed as Annexure R1 and R2 to the reply filed by the respondents. The said constitution of the NCP and rules are hereinafter referred to as the NCP constitution and NCP rules. On 30th June 2023, a resolution was passed by 41 legislators of the NCP electing Sri Ajit Pawar as the president of NCP. A dispute under paragraph 15 of the symbol order was also preferred by the Ajit Pawar faction before the Election Commission of India. Sharat Pawar faction objected to the resolution dated 30th June 2023 and executed affidavits in support of the leadership of Sri Sharat Pawar, which were filed before the Election Commission of India. Thus, it is abundantly clear that two rival factions had emerged in the NCP on 30th June 2023 itself. Hence, the relevant date on which two factions emerged in NCP is 30th June 2023. As, re <clears throat> as recorded earlier, there is no dispute about the relevant constitution of the party. Thus, the said NCP constitution is taken into account for identifying the leadership structure of the NCP. Since there is no factual consensus on what or who constitutes the relevant leadership structure, which has to be taken into consideration, it is necessary to peruse the NCP constitution so as to identify the leadership structure provided for, for in the constitution and consequently examine the leadership structure put forth by both the sides. Article 5 provides for a vertical organizational structure which consists of unit committee, city division committee, area committee, town committee, panchayat committee, constituency committee, district committee, regional committee, union territory committee, state committee, working committee and national committee. Each committee at the bottom level acts as the feeder cadre for electing the next immediate higher committee. Article 12 of the NCP constitution provides that the state committee shall consist of delegates elected from the constituency block committee. Further, NCP constitution provides that all members of the state committee shall be delegates entitled to vote in the election of the president. National committee of the NCP consists of one-tenth of delegates, the president, the ex-president of the party who have completed a term of 365 days and, cons and continue to be an active member. State presidents of the NCP, leader of the NCP legislative parties and other 15 members elected among, amongst the members of parliament. Article 21 of the NCP constitution read with NCP rules provides that the highest executive authority of the NCP is NCP Working Committee, which consists of the President of the party, Leader of the party in Parliament and 23 other members of whom 12 members are elected by the National Committee and the rest are appointed by the President. The said Article 21 further provides that the highest executive authority of the party, i.e. the NCP National Working Committee, shall have the power to carry out the policies and programs laid down by the party and it shall be the final authority in all matters regarding interpretation and application of the provisions of the NCP constitution. The NCP constitution read with the NCP rules provides that the president shall preside over national convention, national committee and working committee and shall have overall control of the working of the party. It further provides that any decision connected with policy matters or on other important political issues will be announced by the president and nobody shall be open and nobody shall openly question or challenge any such decision or statement thus what emerges from the above is that the leadership structure of the ncp consists of one the president of the ncp two the working committee and three the national committee where the president and the working committee are the decision making ent entities of the ncp Thus, the leadership structure of the NCP 
with reference to the President and the Working Committee are the relevant entities for the determination of the preliminary issue. Accordingly, according to the petitioner, again, leadership structure relied to on by the petitioner is a matter of record, which I am not reading out again. According to the petitioner, a valid leadership structure in consonance with the NCP constitution exists as is evident from the letter dated 15 September 2022 issued by Sri T.P. Pitambaram Master addressed to the Election Commission intimating details of organizational elections held in the year 2022 and two, the internal NCP correspondence by way of notification dated 15 September 2022 issued by Sri Praful Patel intimating the national office bearers, working committee members, state union territory presidents, etc. Petitioner preliminary primarily relies on these two documents to establish the existence of a valid leadership structure and further submits that the Sharat Power faction had the majority within the said leadership structure based on the reasonings which are a matter of record. The respondent, however, countered this leadership structure on the grounds that the said leadership structure cannot be taken into account as the said leadership structure came into existence without following the due process of election appointment as provided in the NCP constitution. In this regard, the respondent made the following submissions, which is again matter of record.